Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thanks for joining me. Well, today we are playing with a stamp set from Penny Black called Blooming Garden. It's a beautiful floral stamp set. Now there's no sentiments in here, so we're gonna bring in a few extra items from Fun Stamper's Journey. But we're gonna start off by just, I love poppies. I love the beautiful full flower on a very skinny, thin, fuzzy, furry uh, stem. So I thought we would create a pretty floral card today. Since the image is on the larger side, I'm bringing in my Misty here. And we're going to be doing some stamping on some oatmeal cookie cardstock. This is like a nice craft cardstock um, from Fun Stepper's Journey. I really like it. And I've never colored on here with my, um, my colored pencil. So that's what I think we'll do today. Use a different color medium. I'm just centering my flower. Um... I am eventually going to fussy cut this flower out. I'm not sure if there's coordinating dies, but if there is, I'll link them at the, um, in the description area. But for today, I thought we'd use some Memento Rich Cocoa ink um, and stamp with brown ink. Um, it goes really well with the craft card stock, and I think it just goes really well with the image. Now, again, I'm going to be coloring with my Prismacolor pencils. Now, I only have the 12, the 12 set. Um, never had the urge to get anything bigger so the colors in here are pretty basic but I think they create beautiful a beautiful job um, I'm going to use basically four colors the red orange yellow and white for highlighting um, five colors to take that back I'm going to use green for the stems but I'm gonna play a little music while I color and then when I'm done coloring I will catch you back <music> Okay, coloring is all done, and you can see it was pretty basic because this stamp image has its own detail shading. So where the shading was, I basically used red, and then pulled, brought up a little bit with the orange, and then added the yellow, and then highlighted it with my white. So super easy to color in this image. Okay, now I wanted my lines on my image to really stand out. So I kept my, uh, my stamp in my Misty. Um, positioned exactly where it was when we first stamped it. So then my, this way I can just add my colored in panel and then re-stamp it again a few times with my Rich Cocoa ink. Now so, um, Rich Cocoa ink is a dye based ink and so it's not going to sit on, it's not going to be as rich as your VersaFine, but um, I think it darkened it up just enough. Now this stamp set here is from Fun Stamper's Journey. It's called the Mini Greetings. Lots of smaller sentiments in here, and there's a circle that says miss you. I thought we would stamp this with the same uh, Memento Rich Cocoa ink. I'm going to stamp it a few times, and then I'm going to use a circle die, and die cut out my sentiment, and then I'm going to fussy cut out my poppies here. Once I have everything, and again, I'm not sure if there's a die set for this, but if there is, I'll list it below. I'm going to flip over my sentiment and my poppies. We're going to add foam adhesive to the back. Do a little popping up. Since they're all connected, it was pretty easy to fussy cut, actually. Um, we're gonna set this aside and work on our background. Um, I highlighted my poppy with white um, because it looks really good on, on craft cardstock, for one, but I also wanted to um, add a little white to my poppies because I'm gonna create a background with this. This is the Deco Dots stamp set. Um, it's like a small background. I'm gonna stamp this um, on the same oatmeal cookie craft um, cardstock. I'm treating my paper with my anti-static powder tool because we're gonna do heat embossing and add some white detail on the back of this panel here. So we're gonna ink this up really good. I just need to stamp it once. Um, I'm inking it up with my Versamark ink. 
and I think this looks great. These are, are it's called deco dots because the dots, there's polka dots, but there's lines, like swervy lines that go through the polka dots. So nice little detail in here. I'm gonna add my white embossing powder and then I'll use my heat gun and melt the embossing powder and then I'll bring in my paper trimmer and just trim around um, almost to the edge um, so I have a panel with my polka dots here. So it's all ready to go. This is gonna make a nice background for my poppies. Next, I'm gonna bring in a piece of fun foam. We're gonna add a little bit of dimension to this the fun foam that I use, I always say this, but I say this and repeat myself because sometimes there's new viewers. And so um, this just kind of, um, most of you know that it's adhesive backed, but I'd like to tell you anyway, <laughs> all I do is add adhe adhesive to the other side. So it's a, a ready to go. Okay, we're gonna remove the release paper and add this to the center of a card base I created with the same oatmeal cookie card stock. Basically, I just trimmed my eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock down the middle and then scored it, um, that half piece in half and then folded it over to create my card base. So it's an A2, four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. Now I thought we needed a little extra something in here. I think there was just a, a bit too, many, too much of the oatmeal cookie showing. So to break it up a bit, we're gonna bring in some black and white striped paper. Um, this is from a paper pad called um, um, Black and White Stripes, I believe. It's from MFT. It's my favorite um, because there's a, a diagonal stripes and then there's um, horizontal and vertical stripes. It's um, just black and white striped paper pad and it's a six by six pad, but I'll link it down below. But I added my strip, popped it up with foam adhesive, and then I removed the release paper off of my poppies and added those. And then I'm gonna pop up my sentiment and add that directly on my stripe paper. And then for finishing touches, all I'm gonna do is bring in the little sparkle with my Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Pen. And that finishes off my card for today, guys. This is a stamp set, it's from Penny Black, and it's called The Blooming Garden. It's so pretty. Um, it will, everything that I use today will be down below. But I hope you enjoy my project. Have a fabulous rest of your Tuesday. Um, thanks so much for joining me for Try It Out Tuesday. And we will see you next week for another tutorial. Have a great day. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.